Hey there boys and girls, like Skillfaker here and welcome to the second episode of Tell Me What and this time we're, uh, we are using the 870 MCS with slug rounds and as you can see an infrared scope, infrared sight, I still haven't looked it up yet. So um, you know Tell Me What is a series where, I, where you tell me what I should use, what setup and I'll give you a review of it and yeah. So um, the last video was a little messed up because there were also like suggestions for the challenge accepted series. So I'm still not quite sure if this was meant to be serious. Because I mean the 870 with slug rounds really is powerful but um, the infrared scope... Well, okay let's get right into this and I tell you what I uh, think and thought about this setup and how it played out. And just to let you guys know, the I cut out the boring beginning and also the kill cams. And yes, so let's get right into this. So um, I've had a good time using the setup. I first thought that it would totally suck because of the um, infrared scope, but um, due to the fact that I played on the close quarters maps and there's and everything is pretty tight. Um, you're most of the time, uh, or most likely, always in range for the uh, for this little thermal thing. So you can always like see your enemies highlighted in this yellow tone, and that's pretty good because um, that's like the perfect effective range, if you think of it. And also the shotgun, espe uh, especially with slug rounds, have like has like this close to medium range or sometimes maybe may even a long range, but yeah, so um, it really fits and they really um, work well together. The only downside I found out was the extreme long uh, aiming down sight time of the uh, infrared scope. It takes like, I guess, almost one second or so to um, zoom in and then uh, like point o uh, 0.5 to zoom out or so. So it, re it really takes a long time and if you're close up you always want to hit fire, just like I did in this video. Another problem I found out, or which bothered me, was um, the fact that the shotguns are somehow affected by the suppression effect. Um, so for me personally it seems like they haven't changed too much with the suppression effect. It just feels still a little bit overpowered. Um, but that's just me and I can't stand suppression anyways. Um, the, so the reason why I'm telling you this is because um, often when I'm using a shotgun, even if it's buckshot and the, my target is perfectly lined up within the crosshair, so um, no line is fading off them, so it's completely on them. And I shoot and I'm suppressed, um, it's still possible that like my pellets won't hit the target. So um, those are uh, basically the two points which makes it a little bit harder. First these, the, the infrared scope or the infrared sight. I really don't, uh, should have looked it up. And yes. <laughs> and the um, some this, this weird suppression thing which is going on. Um, yes, that's basically it. Um, so to review this setup, because it was only primary and no secondary and no, yeah. Um, I think it really works well together. If Dice would fix the suppression, because I think it's still broken, um, I would appreciate this a lot more. Um, also, like this little wall hack feature with the infrared sight or scope is really interesting and really useful if you keep your distance before um, going into close quarters. But when being in close quarters, you want to hip fire anyways. Um, even with um, the powerful slug rounds. So I might even recommend this um, if you um, try it out and play a little bit with it you might get pretty good. I mean I had pretty decent um, pretty decent results with it and yeah that was basically the second episode of Tell Me What. And if you have any suggestions for the next episode and which setup I should use, just post it down a comment in the comment section below and I will check it out. The comment with the most thumbs up will be in the will be picked in the next episode and that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and like Skillfaker out.